Tonight, U.S. cases of coronavirus more than doubling. This is truly an unprecedented situation. I want every American to be prepared for the hard days that lie ahead. The coronavirus has changed life as we know it. Declared that the coronavirus presents a public health emergency in the United States. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to take a trip. Am I good to read this off the am? Okay. As the eight of us set off from our sleepy Midwestern village in pursuit of packing as much golf into three days as our bodies would allow, I probably had the wrong goal in mind. To play good golf. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We arrived at the Plum Creek Golf Club and paired off into two foursomes. Just by looking at the clubhouse, I could tell this was going to be a nice course. The balcony overlooks the first tee, putting green, and multi-practice area. Underneath the balcony is a snack bar featuring a covered patio and fire pit. Very nice. The course itself is a peat dye design and played quite nicely. We played from the members tees and I found the 6300 yards to be challenging. Hole 1 presents an immediate decision in whether or not to try and cut the water or to lay up safely. I'm sure you can guess what we tried to do. During the evening we ate at the 1933 lounge which was ridiculously good. The Sea Tower appetizer isn't to be missed and make sure you get some of that St. Elmo shrimp cocktail sauce. Day 2 brought about a unique challenge and I'm not just talking about finishing the Super Slam breakfast at Denny's. I had never golfed 36 holes in one day. We began at Eagle Creek, which is another peat dye design. While the club offers two 18-hole courses, we opted to play Sycamore. The morning we played, it was drizzling and cold, and our group was dressed so warmly that I couldn't help but feel we were setting off on an early morning hunt. For birdies. Who wrote this garbage? I can say that the 6,600 yards was difficult due to the enclosed and undulating greens. We were encased by nature interrupted only by brief bouts of yelling or jeers. We're gonna win! We're gonna kick some a oh, man! It quickly began heating up, and I'm not referencing my golf game. The second course of the day was Bear Slide, which is a Dean Refram design. I will say that I found the front nine agreeable, while the back nine tore me up. 6,500 yards with steep tee boxes, valley fairways, and raised greens had me wandering through the wilderness worse than Nicarito. <laughs> then this happened on the 18th, Oh my! Lord! I'm so glad that's on camera! <laughs> yes, we did almost die. So to relax afterwards, we all hung out at the house, enjoyed some Domino's, beverages, and Bob Ross. So that's one is that you said it's not transparent, then you said it's semi, but it is transparent. Oh, what are we doing? Is this a sunset? sunset. It's gonna be a paradise. Feeling semi-relaxed the next morning, we set off to take on the final challenge, the fort. Although a slight frost delay allowed us to take this gym, the fort course was designed by Tim Liddy and once again, Pete Dye. The fort was originally the Benjamin Harrison Military Reservation, but was converted to a state park when the base was closed. Today, the fort, as we played it, is an 18-hole, 6,700-yard course, which is very, very challenging. It was also well-kept and a pleasure to play. And that's where I went wrong. I went into the trip excited to show off the hard work I've been putting into my game. And when that didn't go well, I got sour. And I regret that. Golf trip is over. Can't say that I played the best golf of my life. Maybe the worst golf of my life. But, had fun. I know I don't look like it right now, but I had fun. See, the goal of the trip wasn't to play good golf. Or at least, it shouldn't have been. As one of my friends put it, that's the cherry on top. Eight friends set out to reconnect, have fun, and experience new courses. And we did. So I guess my only question is...